The beautiful flowers this morning here are given in memory of Maura Tucker. And we heard from um, both Patty and Bree at the first service as they lit the Advent candle, and we also remembered the baptism of Bree. The music for various instrument parts for the amazing First Church Family Orchestra for our Christmas Eve service are now available for you to pick up in the church office. So um, you you are encouraged to be part of this um, fabulous musical piece at the five o'clock service on Christmas Eve. If you'd like to order a poinsettia in honor of a loved one this Christmas season, please find the purple insert in your order of worship for details. There's also an insert um, regarding our Christmas cookies that are being called forth from all of you for next Sunday and for Christmas Eve. You will also find in the small assembly today a um, sign-up table with Amy Heastand, and she will be there if you're interested in participating as a volunteer interviewer for the Alameda County Biannual Homeless Count in late January. Amy and Mo Wright are both involved in the organization that is coordinating the homeless count, Everyone Home. All are invited to the Blue Christmas that we hold each year, and that is happening tomorrow evening from 7 to 8 p.m. in the small assembly. You can contact one of the ministers or Kathy Hallison for more information about that. 7 p.m. in the small assembly. There's a six-week writing workshop offered on Wednesday nights from 6 to 9 p.m. starting on January 2nd. Contact Joanne Brown or the church office for more details with that. Next Sunday, we will be hearing from Andrew Greenhaw during the 9 o'clock worship and Pat DeYoung at the 11 o'clock. And there will be our Christmas cookie fest between both services. This will be a celebration um, the fourth Sunday of Advent. Let us take a moment to hold these members of our community in prayer. And as we go to do that, I want to offer a special welcome to Richard Benner for um, being with us this morning. Welcome back to worship. Um, We have been praying for you for some time and are so glad that you um, feel well and are here with us this morning. We will continue our prayers for Susan Sturgis and for Ginny Miller. We also extend a special prayer this morning to Matt Krebin, who was just here this past past weekend with us, um, and also to his family and his congregation as they minister to the community um, where Sandy Hook is. Our Christmas offering spans the world from Berkeley to Ethiopia and Haiti. Berticon, Benyessa has taken care of generations of young children here at the church. Two years ago, she returned to Ethiopia to visit her family village. She returned to Berkeley with a burning passion to improve the school opportunities in her home village. With Adam Blanza's guidance, she started the Ethiopian Village School Advancement Foundation. She has brought that passion to us, and we have seen the results of her fundraising efforts in the form of a new school classroom. You've probably seen these photos, which are posted in the large assembly on the outreach board. Berticon is now leading the effort to build a school library to serve as a resource for children from nearby schools in the same rural village area. The What If Foundation in Haiti is well known to our congregation. Margaret Trost, the longtime friend of our congregation, took a similar journey to Haiti, so, uh, to, to, as Berticon took. She took, traveled to Haiti 12 years ago, and she saw the serious needs of families and children f- for food needs. Margaret returned to Berkeley with a passion to feed the children of Port-au-Prince. Step by step, our community has participated in Margaret's journey of making a difference. At first, a few children were fed one day a week. Today, What If feeds thousands of children every day. And the vision has expanded to embrace education and agricultural development in Haiti. 
I'm really inspired by the passion of Berta Kahn and Margaret as they make a difference in these two communities. Our Christmas offering also embraces four organizations here in the East Bay. Well known to us are longtime favorites, Berkeley Food and Housing that provides vital food and housing services in our community, and the Suitcase Clinic that has been run by UC uh, students for over 20 years. They provide a hands-on service to the homeless and underserved communities. This has been a transforming experience for those students as they continue on in their professional lives. In addition, we have two new organizations, the Women's Daytime Drop-In Center that provides counseling and support services to homeless women and their children. And Love Twice is an organization that our church member, Nancy Nodell, brought to the attention of Outreach, and she's been involved with it. Love Twice has clothed thousands of newborns recycling and reusing infant clothing for needy mothers. So the Ministry of Outreach appreciates your Christmas <clears throat> offering and support of these six organizations.